Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Tadrees from RunToTheBestShoot.com and in today's video we're going to talk about how to prepare for your virtual 5K. And you got to be a little bit crazy to participate in a virtual race. Not really, but kind of. That's how I, I try to prepare. I want to prepare as if the race is still going on. I, I need to recreate in my mind the, the other participants. I need to uh, create in my mind fans on the sideline clapping and cheering, the music that's being played at the starting line. So I try to prepare as if the race is still going on. I want to get good sleep. I want to eat well. And because that race is going to happen on a particular date, and I want to be ready for it. But if this is your first virtual race, one of the things you want to do is determine your goal. Is it a 5K? Is your goal to run a half marathon or a 10K? If you're planning on running a half marathon, do you want to attach a time to it like I did? I wanted to have my fastest half marathon time. What is your goal? Write that out, then you can start training from there. Number two, you want to decide where to run. You can go for a virtual 5K right outside your door, a mile and a half or so out, a mile and a half or so back, there's your there's your run. Is it a safe community? Do you want do you live near a bike path or a specific trail that you like to run? That's nice to run your 5Ks. But what about the longer distance, such as your half marathon? I live in New Jersey, so right there, right down the street is the Atlantic City Boardwalk. Nice uh, five mile stretch of boardwalk, but a half marathon is 13, right? 13.1. So what do I do? Now I have to run in Margate and in, in Longport down on the street. But there's a sidewalk there, there's a there's a bike strip there. So you want to make sure that wherever you want to run is safe. Research your options. What options are there in the virtual world? Maybe you sign up to a race that goes towards a good cause, like this COVID-19 virtual run. This is the first virtual run that I've done, and the proceeds went to help sneaker shops. Uh, we had the, the Philadelphia Phillies turned into a virtual 5K. I ran for Masavo, which was my Rottweiler that passed away, and the, the resources went towards the Humane Society. And not to mention my fastest half marathon was the April Fools, which turned into a virtual race as well. And so you get some nice cool swag, you get nice shirts, you get a nice medal when you sign up to these virtual events. And so research which virtual race appeals to you. And then number four, sign up. Go ahead and sign up for it. Commit. Don't quit. Just go ahead. Follow your running regimen and be prepared for whatever time that virtual race is. Some virtual races will have a, uh, a week to complete. Some you have to run on the day itself. So make sure your schedule allows you to be able to do that. Here's a couple more tips that I want to say is... Select the time in which, so if, for example, you had to run the race on the day that it was designed, well, select what time you have to, that you're going to go run that race. Make sure that you stay safe. Select a time where if you are going to run on the street at all, that the traffic is little to no traffic, in fact, right? Uh, prepare properly, especially if you're doing longer distance, like a half marathon, you want to make sure that you um, have some hydration. So the water stations aren't going to be out there, but maybe you do some practice runs, do that 13 mile in your practice, see where you can drop off some water bottles. Some people actually run on say like a bike path that's near the house and they'll have like a little water station set up so that they can stay hydrated throughout the run. And then finally, last but not least, don't forget to email the race directors your results so that your time counts. I hope you found this video well. For more tips and strategies, head over to Keep Calm and Run to the Best You, the podcast, which you can listen to on Apple or Spotify.